Watch this. And this. Whoa! I am sick and tired of my front windshield fogging up. And that's why today I'm testing out an anti-fog product by Rainex called Rainex Anti-Fog. But we're not going to stop there. We're also going to be testing out some DIY methods as well. Like for example, dish soap mixed with alcohol, vinegar and water. And I'm even going to throw a wild card in there. How about a banana? But we're still not done. In my very last video, I tested a 30 year old bottle of Rainex versus one I had just purchased a few days ago. And in that video, not only did Rainex far surpass my expectations, but it seems you guys loved it as well. That video currently has over 700,000 views. So today, because of that success, not only are we testing Rainex anti-fog against a few different DIY anti-fog methods, we're also going to be cleaning and treating this front windshield with original Rainex to make sure we can replicate those results. So stay tuned to see the results of the inside of the windshield being treated for anti-fog, as well as the outside of the windshield being treated for water repellent to see if we can replicate the results we got the first time. And throughout this video, I'm going to be giving you three special tips to help you when applying these products. Before I get started with the treatment, I'm going to go ahead and wipe down the inside of this windshield with a damp microfiber towel. Now that the inside of this windshield is cleaned off, I'm going to go ahead and use some tape to make some sections for the testing. Okay, I now have four different sections. Okay, you ready? Tip number one, always start with a clean surface. Soap and water at a minimum, but if you have it, a clay bar would be better. All right, I've got my bottle of Rain-X Anti-Fog. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the seal off. That should be enough for our test patch. I'll go ahead and apply this Rain-X Anti-Fog right here to this center patch, making sure to cover every square centimeter of this patch. I'll use a new shop towel and dry it off. Next, I'll go ahead and mix a little bit of dish soap with some alcohol. And I got some water in there and we'll just go ahead and mix that up a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and apply the soap and alcohol mixture. Now, I have no idea if this is gonna do anything. I just saw this on the internet and decided to give it a shot. And then I'll go ahead and dry it off, just like we did the Rain-X. And for the next mixture, I've got distilled white vinegar. That should be enough. We'll mix that with some water. All right, I'm gonna apply the vinegar and warm water here. Make sure that I cover the entire patch here. And now it's time for the wild card. Yes, it's a banana, a ripe one too. I have the chunk of banana in the cup. I'm just gonna go ahead and smash it up to try to make some sort of a paste or something. That should do just fine. Okay, here's our final application, which is the banana. Oh man. Getting plenty of banana in there. That is totally mushy and nasty. You never know. Sometimes it's the wildest things that really give us a surprise. Definitely a bit hard to get off, and I'm guessing that's because of the sugars and stuff in the banana. We have our four products applied, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove the masking tape. Now, if you're curious how I was gonna get these windows to fog up, well, I have this nice little steamer here. So let's go ahead and see, wow, Already, already I'm seeing a result. Wow, okay. Oh my goodness. Already I can see exactly what the answer is here. I wonder if you guys could see this. Whoa, that's unreal. The window is still fogged up here and I'm hoping you can see the major difference here. Guess which one is right there in the middle. Oh my goodness, what a result. Well, we know for sure that the banana did absolutely nothing, but man, look at that result of the Rain-X. The anti-fog Rain-X works beautifully. I'm gonna use my damp microfiber here and wipe down the whole window and we'll see if that coating is still there. Okay, here goes nothing. All right, it is gone. So the coating is now gone, but that's okay. You're never gonna have a steamer 
on the inside of your front windshield. Wow, guys, I had no idea that that Rain-X anti-fog would work so incredibly well. I guess I should have kind of had an idea based off of how well the Rain-X water repellent worked on the outside of the windshield, but I was not expecting that. I fogged up the inside of that windshield really good with that steamer, and the only patch that remained crystal clear was that Rain-X anti-fog. And just like I did in the last video, I'm using a piece of clay bar so I can super clean this front windshield. Rinsing off. We have now effectively super cleaned this front windshield. The front windshield is now nice and clean and dry. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this Rain-X water repellent to the surface. I'm going to pour a liberal amount into this rag here. And then what I'll do is just start wiping it in. All right, you can kind of see that haze I'm talking about over the entire surface. Two coats have now been applied. I'm just waiting for it to haze up and dry before I buff it off. You gotta do what you gotta do. And here is tip number two. It can't be too humid outside. Make sure it's a drier day, preferably in the middle of the day is probably when you're gonna have the least amount of humidity. That way the product has a chance to dry and cure and then you can buff it off. All right, well, I just got done buffing off this front windshield. Tons of Rain-X on it. I put two coats. It was very well saturated with Rain-X. I let it dry for a while. I handheld a fan to try to get it to dry some more, but it is nighttime. There's a little more humidity in the air. It's chillier. So I think that Rain-X was gonna take a lot longer to fully dry, fully cure than if it were daytime. We'll give it our best shot. We're gonna dump some water on here and see what happens. I got my bucket full of water. This is the first water test on a full windshield of Rain-X. We're gonna see what happens. Well, what'd you think? I'm not sure that I'm actually really happy with that result. It was night, the humidity was really high. I don't know if that Rain-X really had a chance to fully cure before I buffed it off. I did see a result. You could tell that the windshield was slick and it was repelling the water, but it just wasn't to the extent that it happened in the last video on my other truck. That being said, it's now a new day. It's sunny, it's dry. Let's do it again during these conditions and see if we can get incredible results like we did the first time. I just completely rewashed and dried the front windshield, so now I can reapply the Rain-X. Okay, I'm gonna take a liberal amount of the Rain-X and soak my little shop towel here. Then I will go ahead and apply, making sure I get every square inch of this windshield. First coat of Rain-X is on and I can already tell that we have a much better situation than we did at night. It just feels different, a little drier, more sticky when you're applying it. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a second coat. Realistically, you should not need a second coat, but if you follow the channel, you know me. I just can't leave well enough alone. And tip number three, if one coat will do you, two coats will do you better. I've given it plenty of time to dry and I can tell it's a little more difficult to buff off because it has actually cured versus when I did it at night. And now it's time for the final test. Are we gonna have repeatable results? Are we gonna see the same thing we saw in my first Rain-X video? Let's find out. Look at that! Oh my gosh, that's awesome! Rain-X, take two. Rain-X front windshield, take three. Holy moly! I can't believe it. Over and over, these results are incredible. Yeah. 
Well, I think that proves it. What do you say? Comment down below. Let me know what you thought about the video. Personally, I am stoked. My last Rain-X video was the first time I had ever used this stuff, and I was pretty blown away by the results. And now today, having a chance to repeat those tests, we all saw that the results are just as incredible. Well, I'm Jimmy for One Road, and I do hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you're here for the first time, consider subscribing. You can also catch me on Instagram at One Road Garage and the website at OneRoadGarage.com. All right, I will see you in the next one.